Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the SketchUp series. This is part number 13, and the focus of this video is to how to make these grooves and dados in a piece of wood. So, like all my other videos, this is my way of doing it. This is not the only way. There are many, many, many different ways of doing this dados and grooves. This is just the way I've learned to do it, and for me, it works just fine. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm not going to go over this part right here. This will be a 3D text. We'll do that in another video. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to delete this right here. Start from scratch. Oops, I missed part of it. Let's do that again. Hit delete. It's gone. Okay, here we go. I'm going to draw a board with my line tool. I'm just going to go 12 inches, enter, 72 inches, enter, 12 inches, enter, and back to 72 inches. Whoops, messed that one up. So let's just let's just do it this. Let's just go over and connect these two nodes here. So, we're going to use a push-pull tool. This is a 12-inch by 72-inch rectangle. I'll come over to the push-pull. I'm going to raise this up 0.75 inches. Okay, this is going to represent our board here. This is going to be the side of a shelf. This will be the part that stands up. So, we're going to put a groove down the sides and a dado down the middle. Let's go and get this um, started here. I'm going to come over to my tape measure, left click, put it over the line, left click and drag, and if you remember my previous video, how to use the tape measure tool, I'm going to come over, let's take this one three eighths of an inch enter so we're going to take this one three eighths of an inch enter whoops one of them was wrong let me start that one over we're going to take this one over three eighths of an inch three eighths enter we're going to take this one over 3 eighths of an inch. 3 eighths of an inch. Enter. Okay. Come up here, grab the eraser, and delete this one right here. Get that one out of the way. So, this is a 3 quarter inch piece of lumber. We're going to go halfway down the board. So, we're going to go come back over to tape measure. 3 eighths inch down. Enter. We're going to do that again over here for this side. 3 8 inch. Let me twist that around a little bit. 3 8 inch down. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and throw one in over here. 3 8 And Whoops. Let's start that one over. Grab that line, go three eighths inch down. Okay. Now we're going to go over three eighths from the side here. On this side, we'll go over three eighths. No, we don't need to do that. Let's just go like this. Let's just get this line tool. Pick right here. Draw a line straight down, three eighths of an inch enter then we'll just come over here and hit the line there so we can go ahead and delete this right here let's go ahead and continue with this line right here let's just grab this node right here and take it all the way down the board to the 387 inch correct good enough for right now So 
So, let's do that on this one also. I'm going to go No, excuse me. Let's go to this end over here. I'm going to go 3 eighths of an inch. And then straight up 3 eighths of an inch right there. I'm going to take this all the way across the top. And line it up to right here. There we go. Okay. We can get rid of these lines right here now. Let's just go and erase that one. Erase that one. Erase this one. Get those out of the way. So this is going to be taken out, which is this will be the backer, the back portion of your shelf. So let's go ahead and delete this right here. Right here. We're going to delete that and delete that. Get back up here and hit the line tool. We're going to draw a line from this point all the way down to this point right here and then we're going to hit the erase tool get rid of these two right here so there you go easy enough see it runs all the way down the board let's do that again up here on the top so tape measure tool I'm going to come over 3 8 7 inch enter so I'm going to take my line tool here make the line going all the way down there correct then I'm going to make a line going all the way across over here correct and then I'm going to twist this around line down 3 8 of an inch and then 3 8 of an inch this way The race tool, let's get rid of this line, let's get rid of this line, let's get rid of this, whoops, made a mistake on that one, let me back that one up, I need to make a line right here, pick my line tool or my pencil, back over there and make a line, correct, get my eraser, I'm going to get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, Get my pencil, make a line going all the way across. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete this one right here too. Easy enough. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and delete that one out of the way also. There you go. Now if you making your drawing, if you want to put another one at the bottom right here, go ahead and do that. But we're going to skip that part just for tutorial purposes. So we're going to put a dado in here. 12 inches down from this point. So I'm going to get my tape measure. I'm going to go highlight this one. Come down 12 inches. 12 enter. And then I'm going to go 0 0.75. Enter. Because this shelf is going to be three eight three quarters inch thick, so let's go ahead and get back to the pencil tool. Left click and down, left click and down. Let's go this way to the end. Now we can copy this line over to here, but since there's only one line right here, we're just going to go ahead and do it this way. We're going to twist this around. Come down three eighths of an inch. Whoops, made that one kind of wonky there. Let's do that one over. Three eighths, enter. Come this way. Zero point seven five, enter. And this one goes straight up. Like we did before, let's go ahead and get rid of these lines right there. Let's get rid of this line. Let's get rid of this line. Go back to the line tool. Grab this node right here. Left click and drag all the way across. Got it. Do the same thing from this side. Left click, come all the way across. Got it. So now 
you have your dado in there. Let's go ahead and erase this one right now. There you go. Now you can copy these all the way down, but there is a another way of doing it where you can measure these downs in repeatable steps. That will be in an upcoming video if you how to do that. But let's, let's show you how this looks. It actually looks like a piece of wood instead of a piece of white paper right here. We'll come up here right here to the paint bucket, the left click. Come over here, hit this little drop down arrow. I found wood. And let's go with this one. We're just going to left click, left click, left click. Just color in all these planes right here. Let me get rid of that. X out of that one. There we go. Same thing for this end. Come over here and do this end also. Do the bottom side. Let's do this side. Okay, easy enough. So now it actually looks like a side of a bookshelf. Like I said earlier, you'll want to put more dados in here depending on the size and needs that you want. But anyway, that's pretty simple. I'm sure you'll catch on to this. I do appreciate you watching and please hit the please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.